an optional uh, day to celebrate uh, in the church. Uh, that's because uh, most of the saints that we have, the great majority of them are popes, bishops, priests, and nuns in that order, it seems. And uh, very few, really, when you think about it, lay people, I call common people, uh, rarely seem to make it to the canonization process. St. Isidore, though, is a good example for us in the United States. And here's a little bit about his life. Isidore has become the patron of farmers and rural communities. In particular, he's the patron of Madrid and of the United, St United States National Rural Life Conference. When he was barely old enough to wield the hoe, Isidore entered the service of John de Vergas, a wealthy landowner from Madrid, and worked faithfully on his estate outside the city for the rest of his life. He married a young woman as simple and upright as himself, who also became a saint, Maria de la Cabeza. They had one son who died as a child. Isidore, however, had a deep religious instinct. He rose early every morning to go to church and spent many a holiday devoutly visiting the churches of Madrid and surrounding areas. All day long, as he walked behind the plow, he prayed. His devotion, one might say, became a problem because his fellow workers sometimes complained that he often showed up late because of staying in the church too long. He was known for his love of the poor, and there are accounts of Isidore's supplying the poor with miraculous food. He had a great concern for the proper treatment of animals. He died May 15th in the year 1130, and was declared a saint in 1622, along with Ignatius of Loyola, Francis Xavier, Teresa of Avila, and Philip Neri. Together, this group is known in Spain as the Five Saints. Many implications can be found in a simple laborer achieving sainthood. Physical labor has dignity. Sainthood does not stem from status. Contemplation does not depend on learning. The simple life is conducive to holiness and happiness. There are legends about angel helpers and mysterious oxen of when the life of a Saint Isidore. These legends perhaps indicate that his work was not neglected and his duties did not go unfulfilled. Perhaps the truth which emerges is this. If you have your spiritual life in order, your earthly commitments will fall into order also. So on this day, when we remember just a simple man and his wife, we're reminded about the, just the dignity of hard work, the simple life, how each of us can and are called to holiness simply by fulfilling our responsibilities as people in the world. So we ask Isidore's the intercession today, especially on our farming communities uh, for favorable crops and that uh, for those who seek work will find it, work which will bring them dignity.